Hi, second graders. Thanks for coming to music class this week. Hopefully you've learned about the string family and you've learned about the woodwind family. And remember we learned about the string family when we were in school like a month ago. Um, this week we are learning about the percussion family. Woohoo, percussion family. Do you know the names of any percussion instruments? What else do you know? Drums? There are lots of kinds of drums. What other percussion instruments do you know? Well, hopefully after we watch this, you will know the name of lots of them. Here we go into our quaver percussion lesson. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so look at all these instruments. These are all percussion instruments. Do you know what these ones are called? That's right, cymbals. How about this one? Yep, xylophone. We play those at school. This, you know, is a drum. This one, triangle. Yep. How about this one? Yeah, rhythm sticks or drum sticks, depending on what you have. The egg shaker. And the last one, yeah, at school we call it a fish. In Latin music, they call it a guiro, but we just call it a fish because it kind of has the shape of a fish. So, what's the definition of percussion? Well, let's read. Percussion, instruments that are hit, shaken, or scraped. Okay, so if you can hit something with your fingers, I'm gonna hit my table. Okay, let me see. If you can shake it, like a shaker, rattle, rattle, or scrape. <laughs> Like the fish. Very cool. All right. Percussion instruments. Woohoo. We're going to watch a video about percussion instruments. So get comfortable, settle in. It's a few minutes long. Maybe like, oh, I don't know. I think it's 10 minutes long. 15 minutes long. Okay. Instruments 
play on top of that. So let's try it again. Colson, this time you take the main beat. Here we go. One, two, three, four. as well. Let's take a look. Now some of these percussion instruments in the orchestra are similar to what we saw on the football field, but they're used in a different way. Colton, Lara, hit it. Wow, that was great. Now this is something that you generally just find in an orchestra. What is it? It's a gong. A gong, right. Lara, Hit it. So, percussion instruments add drama and delicacy to music in the orchestra. Now, the things we've heard add drama, but this adds kind of delicacy and humour. Play it for us. you want. Look at that. That's what you call skill. Laura, thanks. Welcome to the deciding match in the World Orchestra Section Moving Championship. The game is finely poised. Logoshoff won, Berbatov won. And it's Logoshoff to move. Violins and violas to front, center, and left. Good move. Berbatov hand shaking with nerves. Plays a double move. Woodwinds to center, and cellos and basses to front, right. Logoshov plays brass to the back. Hang on. I'm hearing that that is a wrong placement. It's a false move. Logoshov is weeping into his hanky. Incorrect, comrade. Brush goes there, and percussion goes right here at the back. I wish you. I am the champion. There's so much more to percussion than pitched instruments and drums. There's hundreds and thousands of percussion instruments, and because of that, they're sometimes used for sound effects in music and movies and 
Where if percussion adds atmosphere. So now we're gonna make a movie? Wait, wait. I wanna be the big star. You know, like an action hero. Bigger than life. I'm pretty sure there's already a star in this movie. We're just gonna create the effects with different percussive instruments. What we really need is some more percussion. Dun, dun, dun. Look at the percussion in that enormous drum! Right, can you remember the three ways that percussion is played? Hit, shake, and it. scrape. Cool! Now, watch this video of me as a real laddie as I cook dinner to surprise my parents. Pretty right, Wave. Yeah, but we can add atmosphere by adding percussion. There's so many different tangles of percussion that we can make our clips so much better by adding sound effects. Julian, because he plays the drums, is going to play the instruments that are hit. Jason's going to play the ones that are shaken. And Sean will play the ones that are scraped. Watch this. Change the way that clip felt. Yeah, total new atmosphere by adding percussion. Thanks for the demonstration, Quaid. Guys, I couldn't have done it without you. Now, I'm off to the shop. Oh, wait. Now go. Okay. Famous percussion in classical music, the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. <laughs> in classical music, the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. Really? <sighs> Famous percussion in classical music, the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. shakes it around and it kind of spreads the sound and makes it whoa that's cool another one sam how about a lion right this is the last one listen to this yes i didn't have any lunch this morning now <laughs> joining sam on this fantastic stage give it up for yakski and mr yeah. sam Backer! Look at how many 
many different kinds of sounds that Sam produces. He uses lots of different parts of his hand, the side, the thumb, that bit, the heel of his hand, to produce different sounds on his percussion instruments. It's amazing. Just from hip, shake it, or sway it, we could produce all these different sounds in the world of music. a lot about percussion music. Did you have a favorite instrument that you learned about? Maybe you really like the drums, the conga drum or the bass drum. Or maybe you really like the chimes, those metal things that she used a hammer to hit. The kibasa, that was the one with the metal, the circle that they put in their hand and they made ch 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 kind of. Did you have any other favorites? Okay, well, let's keep exploring. What do we have next? Hmm. Okay. We are going to figure out where all the instruments belong. So they can either be scraped, hit, shaken, or a combination of both. Hmm. So the gong, that one is here. Do you remember what they did with the gong? Yeah, she used a mallet. Oh no. Well, hopefully it works in a moment. Let's try again. Does your computer do this at home too? Mine totally does. All right, gong. Oh no, we might not be able to do this. Well, the gong got hit, for sure. Let's see what other instruments there are. The xylophone, that one gets hit. How about the egg shaker? Yeah, it's kind of in the name, it gets shaken. The cymbals, yeah, you hit those together. Sometimes you scrape them together. So that one, the cymbals, I would put in the green. The guiro or the fish, definitely scrape. But sometimes you can hit it. Maybe that one goes in green too. Oh, a lot of these are in both. A bell, you shake it, yep. Yeah. How about maracas? Okay.
Hmm. It's not working super great. Maybe it'll work better for you when you're at home. The next one is if it's pitched or not pitched. That means like, is it like a hitting? Or is it on a different pitch that goes low or high? So, you can listen to them. That one goes high and low. So, that one I would put in the red pitched area. How about the shaker? I would put that in the blue non-pitched area. How about the bell? Yeah, see it's not working to move them, but maybe when you're at home it'll work for you. Let's move on for now. World music. Okay, this is another activity. If you want to go on quavermusic.com, you can definitely explore this a ton. Um, I'm just going to show you a little bit how it works. I want you to do instruments today. And there's these big words down here about different kinds of instruments. And there's different parts of the world. So we live in this green area, so let's click that. Okay, we live here. Do they have any instruments? Okay, let's see if they have any chordophones. Hmm. Kind of. Let's go back to the map. I want you to tell me more. This definitely works on a different part of the website. We can learn about these kinds of instruments and where they are from. We can learn how to play them. Okay, what is a lamellophone? I don't know. Oh, nothing to do with llamas. Place one in on the edge and then twang the other end. Mm. Cool sound, Quaver. You just made a lamellophone, an instrument with a vibrating tongue. Cool. So, if you want to learn more about different types of instruments, they're down here. And you should be able to learn about some different types of instruments. Oh, like for South America, here's four different percussion instruments. Or for Africa, here's four different types. Maybe they don't have any for Asia yet. That's not fair. How about Europe? Eurasia. Okay, well, they need to get some more Asian instruments. Do they have any for Australia? No. Okay, well, now we know what the problem was. But if you want to learn more about these types of instruments from around the world that are all percussion instruments, you can click on here and you can learn a lot. Like the, what is this, wristband stick? Rasping stick? Hmm. What? You can get an introduction to what it is. There's a video. You can look at what it all looks like. You can learn how to play it. So, if you want to learn more about world music percussion, this page is for you. All right, let's sing a song, The Mouse's House. All right, let's see what we got. We get, what's this? A saw, yep, and this is a mouse, and this is his house. I noticed that mouse and house rhyme. Hmm, all right, let's follow along.
Okay, before we sing it again, can you help me come up with some actions? So we had three things that the carpenter did, right? He sawed, he hammered, and he painted. What could you do to show sawing? Well, last year we did a song either in first grade or kindergarten, and we used our hands like this, and we went on our arm and went saw, 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 saw. So you could do that when he saws. Hmm, what could you do for hammer? You could take a fist and go pound, pound, pound. Hammer in the nail, like on your knee or something, or on your forehead. Pound, pound, hammer, hammer, but don't hurt yourself. Um, and the last one was paint. What could you do to show painting? You could hold a paintbrush, and you could paint a wall, or you could paint your sleeve. So you could go paint, paint, paint. So I want you to show an action for sawing, hammering, and for painting. And I would love if you could try to keep a beat while they're singing that part of the song. Okay? Good luck. You can do this. A carpenter saw he sawed some wood to build his mouse a house. Saw, saw, saw. The carpenter hammered, hammered nails to build his mouse a house. Hammer, hammer, hammer. The That was fun. Good job. Thank you for doing the actions with me. Okay, this you can do at your house too if you want to log in. Um, I'll just show you how it works and we can do one together. So this is called body percussion and we've done a lot of this in class. So remember this symbol means you stomp. This is like making a whoa, 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 whoa sound like with your cheeks. Um, patting your head. This is clapping patting your knees. This is, is when you put your hands together and go pss, 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 with your hands. Kind of like that sound. The first purple one is snapping. And the last one is tapping your shoulders. Not my favorite because it's not super loud, but if you like it, go for it. So your job would be to put one picture in each of these boxes and then to try to do that pattern like with one of the tracks, okay? Hmm, what should we do first? Clapping, that's always easy. Let's do pat. How about snap and stomp? Okay, so we could do four new ones, or we could copy some. I'm gonna go backwards, because I'm tricky like that. So I'm gonna use the same ones, but you can do whatever ones you want. Okay, so let's listen to track number two first. We're gonna listen for the beat, and then we're gonna try to perform the song that we just composed together using body percussion. Found the beat. Okay. All right, here I go. Clap, 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 pat, 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 snap, 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 stomp, 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 snap, stomp, 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 snap, 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 pat, 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 clap, 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 clap. Whew. How did you do? Want to try again? Here you go. Clap. Pat. Snap. Stomp. Stomp. 
snap, pat, clap. Okay, and then you can reset. And if you want to do another one, you could do some of this action. Um, I don't know. You could even do two in a row if you liked them. Like this guy is silly. Let's do track number one. First thing you need to do is find the beats. Two, three, four. Remember, we do everything four times. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Pat your head. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoulder. Two, three, four. Pat. Pat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Okay, so if you want to come in and make your own body percussion, you sure can. It's a lot of fun. Okay, next, what did we learn today? Can you define percussion? Remember, percussion is something that you hit, scrape, or shake to make a sound. Can you tell me two instruments in the percussion family? We talked about a lot of different ones today. If you can't tell two different instruments, go to the beginning of the lesson, maybe on like the second slide, and see if you can figure out the names of some. Well, I hope you had fun learning about the percussion family today. And I can't wait to see you again sometime soon. But for now, keep singing, keep dancing, keep having fun with music. And I miss you. See you next week and have a good one.